So you're thinking about moving to Greenville, but there's some things that are making you a little bit nervous. The distance to work, the cost of living, the traffic. So just don't move to Greenville. No, I'm serious, don't move to Greenville. There's other cities around Greenville that can help you. Let's unpack them. So this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is about Greenville and the areas around it, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about everything in the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team and we'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. So whether it's a week from now or it's a year from now, make sure you reach out to us. All of my information's below, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So one of the cities you can move to that's really close to Greenville would be easily South Carolina. Easily is in the back part of downtown Greenville. So you can get to Greenville from Easily in 15 to 20 minutes. Easily sometimes doesn't get the credit it deserves. It is a beautiful city that has um, lots of culture, it has a beautiful downtown area, it is in Pickens County, and parts of Easily are really close to downtown Greenville. So you can live in Easily, pay less taxes, pay less for your home, and have a good quality lifestyle while still working in downtown Greenville or in the Greenville area. There's still great schools, all kinds of stuff for you to do in Easley. It's off of 153, or you can take 85 to 123 to get to 153 to be able to get to the heart of Easley. Lots of little mom and pop shops, lots of restaurants. They even have big box stores now because it's an up and coming city that has lots to offer. So you don't want to sleep on easily, okay? And then there's Greer. And by the way, let's go ahead and just unpack what's going on here, okay? The little furball, he's at work today and we love Gizmo and he's our sweet puppy, little Cavapoo. And I couldn't leave him in the office because he's like, whoop, 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 and about to do it again. So since he's a lap dog, I'm letting him be on my lap today. So we're going to forgive him as we unpack these cities. Okay? Okay, so Greer would be the city we're talking about next. Greer is a beautiful city that is oddly shaped. So Greer can be either behind Five Forks slash Simpsonville, and we'll talk about that city in a minute. It can be closer to the airport. It can be the back of um, downtown and near Taylor's area or in the Blue Ridge area is another way to say it. It has lots of education um, for whether it's uh, public schools, Montessori schools, um, lots to choose from for work in Greer. There's lots of outdoor activities in Greer. The cost of living, I wouldn't say is excessively lower than Greenville, but it does give you an opportunity to give more land to your yard. It is um, have more of a spacious home. It will also give you the ability to um, have a bigger neighborhood to um, possibly have more outdoor events. But Greer is definitely an alternative to living in downtown Greenville or a Greenville proper. One of my favorite cities is Simpsonville or Five Forks. I actually live in Five Forks. I love Five Forks. We've lived there for 19 years. That should say how much we love it. Simpsonville is the main city of it. But when you're talking about Simpsonville or Five Forks areas, most people would say Five Forks for the 29681 side of it. Simpsonville is what they would call, or Fairview Road side is the 29680 side. And they're split by um, Scuffletown or um, Main Street. They are about 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Greenville. You can still have an amazing lifestyle there. Phenomenal schools. Check them out on niche.com, greatschools.org. You can get a lot of house for your money. Now it is more expensive to live in Five Forks per se um, compared to say Piedmont or Malden. Um, it isn't as much as living in downtown Greenville though. You don't have the same city taxes in Five Forks or in Simpsonville you would in downtown Greenville. It's still an easy commute on 385. There's lots of community and culture there. I mean, you get to do a lot of different things. I've lived there so long. Um, I wouldn't know what to do if I ever decided to leave. I wouldn't know. Like, so I can tell you that the revitalization has happened in the downtown Simpsonville area. There's tons of restaurants. Um, on the Five Forks side, they just have a new library, a brewery. There's all kinds of different things happening there. So it's definitely a good place to live if you're thinking of living in the Greenville area, but not in Greenville itself per se. So let's go ahead and unpack Malden. Malden is a lot of fun. So I wouldn't have been able to say that five to 10 years ago. Malden was a very plain city that just had the schools, had a couple of restaurants and they were locally owned. There wasn't anything like a Starbucks. Now there's a Starbucks, there's more restaurants. There's Bridgeway Station, which Bridgeway Station is pretty cool. It looks like a Hogwarts castle. 
it has restaurants inside. One of the bar restaurants has a bowling alley inside of it. How cool is that? There's lots of outdoor space. Um, they have events like the Easter Bunny. They have goat yoga on Saturdays, a farmer's market on Thursday evenings. It also is connected to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Now, while the Swamp Rabbit Trail does not connect the downtown one yet, it is in the process of happening. So if you're thinking, well, I want to live in Greenville because I want to live on the Swamp Rabbit Trail, just know it's coming. Just have a little patience and save yourself a little bit of money. Malden has great schools. Um, you can check those out on niche.com or greatschools.org. Malden is one of those towns that it's small, and if you drive through it, you're going to miss it. But there is a lot of culture there. They have the sports club. They have the cultural center. They have the theater there. They have lots of different things going on. Check out my Malden video. You definitely want to see what Malden has to offer. So then there's Taylor's. Taylor's is a cool little city that is close to the mountains. I will say one drawback that we find with Taylor's, it, there's a lot of train tracks. Tons of train tracks. I'm not big on noise, so that's annoying to me. Other than that, that's an amazing little city. It has places like Taylor's Mill. They have um, lots of restaurants there. Um, there's axe throwing. There's the arcade. Um, it's a really cool retro arcade. When I say arcade, it's not like one or two little machines that you just go. There's about 40 machines in there, and there's food in there. It's just a lot of fun. The houses in Taylor's, um, they range from two fifty dollars all the way up to a million dollars, so you're going to ha have a different range. You're going to have rolling roads. Um, it's just a really cool atmosphere. Again, great schools. Check those out on greatschools.org, niche.com, to figure out which schools are best for your children. A cool thing about Taylor's is it's close to everything. You can get to downtown in 15 minutes. You can take the back roads to get to Greer, maybe in 5, 10 minutes. You can get to the airport in 20, 25. Spartanburg, maybe in 30. It's just a really centrally located place. So Taylor's is high on the list for a lot of people. And it's really fun if you're an outdoorsy person because you can get to the lakes pretty easily, the mountains easily, all the hiking trails. So Taylor's is definitely high on most people's list if they want to live close to Greenville, but not really in Greenville. So then the last on our list is Traveler's Rest, nicknamed TR. Traveler's Rest is at the bottom of the Blue Ridge Mountain before you're going to get to Marietta or into Hendersonville, North Carolina. It is close to um, Greenville, downtown Greenville. You have to get through downtown Greenville in most of our areas. Like if you're in Simpsonville, you have to go through downtown Greenville to get to Traveler's Rest. It is absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. The downtown area, there's so much culture. There's People genuinely care about their city. There was a farmer's market. If you want to have restaurants that are farm to table like Topsoil, Tandem, there's lots of great restaurants there. It is a foodie town for sure. It's an artsy town as well. So you're going to want to think things like breweries. You're going to think things like wonderful restaurants. You might want to go kayaking. You would, might want to go bike riding on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. The Swamp Rabbit Trail runs right through Traveler's Rest to go through Furman University to downtown Greenville through the zoo. You can do lots of things through the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Again, you don't have to live in Greenville per se to enjoy the amenities of Greenville because you can be very close and not spend the crazy money at times of Greenville. Not all of Greenville is crazy money, but there are parts with the taxes to be higher because of downtown city limits. And if you want to be in downtown, that's okay, but it's going to cost you that. So these are the cities that I would highly recommend of options to live close enough to Greenville and have the lifestyle without having to spend all that money. So if you're thinking about moving to Greenville or any of the six cities that I mentioned, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. We'd be glad to help you have a smooth transition here. If you want videos just like this, make sure you hit here to see more.